Hey folks, how you doing? Mr. Awesome Sean here, and welcome back to the Ape Escape 2 playthrough. We're on the second to the last part, folks, so we're just going ahead and try to finish up this cleanup as fast as we can, so we could go ahead and face Factor. Wow, can you believe it? Second to the last part, we made quite a journey, folks, from here on out. We made it quite a journey. And I do want to thank you guys, whoever, you know, if you did make it to me on this journey, thank you anyway. Thank you for taking your time. And if you're just now joining me for this journey, what are you waiting for? Go back and watch part one, and then I could properly introduce you there. But I do thank you for taking your time out anyway to come check me out. You know, your boy just doing his own thing out here, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, I do thank you. Welcome to part 8. 18 folks we're getting close to the end of the game here wow it just seems like this part has just about the same amount of playthrough part as the first game so yeah we're just kicking it out with this ape escape folks we're almost done and sooner or later we'll be playing you know the game the channel has changed to another playthrough that i hope you guys will stick around with i'll probably have another playthrough plan out by the next part so you guys stay tuned for that uh I will probably be announcing the next playthrough I'll be doing then. I'm pretty sure I have something planned out by then. Hopefully. You know, so... Yeah, like I stated before, we're just doing some cleaning up, folks. We're just making sure that everything here is, you know, according to... We got we got to do the cleanup anyway. It's like no choice. We have to in order to face off Spectre in the final confrontation. So, yeah, I do thank you guys for at least joining me. Man, it's just... I, it's just so hard for me to believe that we're kind of close to finishing the game. It was a ride, folks, to me anyway. So, you know, we're just cleaning out, cleaning the house. So, you know, Ape Escape 2, I'll, 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 you know, you guys know I'm going to voice my opinions about Ape Escape 2 at, at the end of the playthrough. So you guys know I'm going to do that at least. You know, just get my thoughts, expressions, overall feelings about the game. So I can't, I can't wait until then because... I don't know if I'm going to have a lot to say, but I'm going to have some stuff to say for sure, though, about this game. So, I'll just get let you guys know how I feel about the game overall, even though I think you guys already might have a gist of what I'm going to say, because I keep explaining it over and over, pretty much. So, you guys already know at least a synopsis, or, yeah, oh, <laughs> speak no evil. <laughs> Well, is speak is it speak no evil, say no evil, hear no evil? Is it? I don't know. Maybe the monkeys that that I capture have something to say. But yeah. Anyway, I had a um, fun time capturing the remaining of the monkeys here. <laughs> Smell no evil. Okay. And this one is probably hear no evil. Let's see. Oh yeah, hear no evil. All right. Yeah, I was right. But anyway, yeah, I have a fun time exploring uh, this section right here because. It was just all these monkeys here, and it just made it so simple and easy. We didn't even spend like no less, no more than five minutes here. It was probably like around three minutes or whatnot, but it was super short, and that's how I like the levels like that, even though we didn't have much to catch. So this time in Lost Valley, we only have three monkeys to catch, so this part is probably going to be short as well. So um, not the whole part in general, just this little section right here, uh, catching the monkeys, so... We're just gonna hop into it and try to get through this as fast as we can, folks. Um, yeah, this game right here, this pretty much this whole experience playthrough was kind of hectic, as I uh, mentioned before, and you're probably tired of hearing it. And if you are, I do apologize. It's been kind of on a hiatus, you know, because I, I kind of lost my I kind of lost my YouTube spirit in a way. I I, I kind of lost that motivate. I lost the motivation and the drive to put out the content that you guys deserve so i kind of lost that and only from receiving some encouragement from my friends to make sure that i you know just don't give up is basically what i'm trying to say i didn't give up on doing this and if you guys are new and trying to do your own youtube thing as well and I don't know what the hell I was trying to do with that t-shirt. But if you're new and trying to do your own YouTube thing as well. And you see you're not getting that many subscribers. And you see you're not, you know, really doing whatever. If you enjoy it, do it. I enjoy this. So I'm doing it. I enjoy this. I enjoy interacting with subscribers and viewers and stuff. I love doing that. Now, I have another channel. Um, 
I get too many comments on that channel to try, but I try my best to at least to everyone if I don't forget because I am kind of forgetful, but if I don't get to a comment, don't make sure, don't, 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 don't assume that I ignoring anybody. No, I'm not doing that. Sometimes I just forget because I forget Pippa G with the save once again, Pippa G. But I was explaining a couple of parts ago, I think it was about three parts ago, how I would like to have an Ape Escape 4 where multiple characters, where you can choose multiple characters. Bring back the old protagonist and maybe introduce a new one, you know, to people who like new protagonists. You know, you can bring back Spike. I'll, I'll even, even though I don't like the kid much, Jimmy. And then the character, the protagonist from Ape Escape 3, you can bring them into the mix. So you could just bring in all that, and plus like a a, a a new have them all and they redesign redesign them because Spike looks totally different now. Uh, yeah, he looks so different now. Um, if you want to know how Spike looks, watch my PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, which I'll probably end up doing again. I don't know. I have to see, but. Go ahead and check that video out, or just check the thumbnail of it, and you can see how Spike changed, how different he is now. And the redesign, to me, it's okay. I think it's based on his uh, Pumped and Prime, which is the Ape Escape minigame collection, that I'm probably not getting to anytime soon, unless I... I'll probably bring my brothers and sisters into the mix, see if they want to play it, you know? And... Because they're 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 down for playing anything, my brothers and sisters. Anyway, they they love games just as much as I do. So, you know, you might see them on the channel. You know, every once in a while. I don't know. Um, I do. I am trying to get my friends, just uh, my other friends, my older friends, not older than me, but around my age. I'm trying to get them to. We're trying to get something planned where we're doing a skyscraper. City, this part right here. This is pretty much the remainder of the video. Um, we have quite a lot of monkeys to catch here, and it's gonna be in a part that you guys haven't seen before. So, when I get to it, I'll talk more about that part. But anyway, yeah, I'm trying to get a Mario Party, like a Mario Party um, playthrough going on, a drunk Mario Party. Because we're all of age, of drinking age, and um, I'm trying to get that started, but nobody's replying back to me. Like, we're not setting up anything official because, you know, they can do it here at my house. I don't care, but my room is kind of, uh, so I'd rather do it somewhere else, you know. So, you know, I'll bring my re recording equipment, laptop, whatever I need to bring to record that, I will do it. We can do it at uh, any one of their houses. We can do a Mario Party Let's Play because when I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, folks. I don't drink, you know. I don't drink often. I'm kind of only a social drinker. But when I do drink, I am loud, really loud, and I am so talkative too. Um, yeah, I'm really talkative. So if you, if you're if you're a drinker and you like to talk, then we can have a good time, folks, because I'll be talking right along with you. So I'm just, when it comes to me and drinking, I try to avoid it unless, you know, I'm out with a friend or something like that and they offer a drink or something. And I just do it to just be polite. I don't like the taste of alcohol, well, beer and precisely because beer to me is bitter. I don't like it, so... It's just a bitter taste. So, if you're a kid watching this, I do apologize. We're talking about something that you should stay away from. Anyway, I'm not really... I don't know if this really a... I, I wouldn't consider this channel kid-friendly anyway. So, you know, more like a teenage... More like a teenager slash adult kind of channel. But, anyway, I'm just babbling, but... Yeah, I'm trying to get that Mario Party plant, but nobody's responding, and it's kind of a bummer. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep trying, though. As for which Mario Party, I don't really know. Um, I'll be trying, like I said, at the time of this recording, I'll be trying to look at some games and try to see if 
try to get some party games started or something like that. So I'll, I'll try to do it. So you know, expect that in a couple of months or probably really soon. I'll just try to get that, you know, all figured out. Hopefully, it could be really soon. You know, just to get that out there, just have everything planned. Hopefully, hopefully, it's soon rather than later. But we'll just have to see how that goes. But anyway, uh, these monkeys and this UFO. Did I tell you guys how much I despise the monkey and the UFO? It's just uh, his. He had the name to go along with it, I guess. Spacey. But we got four monkeys, four more monkeys to catch, and we got quite an area of the skyscraper to explore anyway. But yeah, like I said, we're coming up. This is the last, second to last part, folks, and the parts is just fluctuating up and down. Some parts would be longer than others. That's just how the power of editing goes, folks, you know. But anyway, yeah, I try to jam in as much content as I can into one video, not to leave you guys hanging too long, you know. But I, I did did that with the hiatus though, so I did a, I do want to apologize for that. Now that this Ape Escape content is going up, I hope you guys are satisfied. You know, with the other videos as well, I'll be getting those at the time of this recording. I haven't uh, posted anything yet, but of course, me announcing that it's just making that whole, just making it irrelevant anyway. So I hope you guys are enjoying those playthroughs that I have put up here for you. Hope you guys, and I hope it gives you, uh, I hope it gets you interested enough to actually go out and get the game for yourself. Even though I know PlayStation 2 is irrelevant, I know I I still have my PlayStation 2. I don't throw my consoles away. After I, you know, I still have my PlayStation 2, Play, PlayStation 3. It got my GameCube and all that. I don't throw consoles away. I just can't do that, folks. I mean, you pay for them, so why should you throw them away? You know, it's just kind of wasted money. At least to me, anyway. You know, it's just everybody's been raised different. I mean, if you got the money to blow like that, you could. Instead of throwing it away, you could at least pass it down. Maybe you got a younger sibling, a cousin, or anything, and don't know the the pleasure. You can bring you can bring them the same enjoyment out of that old console that you had. You can just pass it down. But like I said, I don't throw my consoles away. It's just a ways to do that. Anyway, so I got too many games for those consoles anyway to be thrown away. So yeah, that, that'd just be hundreds of dollars just going down the drain. But yeah, this is a new part of uh, the skyscraper that we never got to explore. So we're doing that right now. I don't know why they put these poles here to, you know, I, don't, I think it was kind of a weird choice design. I would have been, I would have liked it better if it was stairs, but I guess they just wanted to pad this level out as much as they can, you know, just to see what they could do with it. And I hate doing these sections of video games because nine times out of ten I really fell at these parts and I'm surprised I got that on that first take so I was really proud of myself when I actually accomplished that but yeah I really hate doing those kind of um, sections where you have to move from pole to pole I really hate that folks I really do and I don't look forward to that in any game um I was planning on doing the um, the God of War series but that game just uh, just that game in general is just blah not the series the series is fantastic don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong about the god of war series i played god of war i played the first one and the third one and i got some enjoyment out of those games i haven't played the second one i don't know why i skipped the second one and just went right to the third one i guess it was just the talk of you know my friends saying how cool the game was you should try it and whatnot and i'm like uh okay i only played the first one so I'll just get right to the third one and see how it is so you know I haven't played the second one yet I need to just to see how it is see what's different well I seen what's different because I seen people God of War for me I'd rather watch it than play it you know what I'm saying that, that's just the type of guy I am I'd rather watch the game watch somebody else play it than me play it myself I do a bunch of video games like that really you know uh, I watch other people on YouTube doing their comment commentary thing, you know, like the Super Gaming Brothers. I watch the Completionists. I watch those guys, um, Maximilian dude. If I'm saying that right, I watch him. You know, people just playing the games and their love for it. I just watch them. I'm just the type of guy that rather watch them play and do their own thing. You know what I'm saying? But I do enjoy doing it. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy doing this as well because I like playing games as well and giving my opinion 
and see if I can persuade you rather getting it or not or how the gameplay is I like doing that as well and me I didn't really see as much game as uh, as much I was gonna say game is played I haven't seen as much Ape Escape content on YouTube as I should you know and even with the Ape Escape content uh, even with the Ape Escape views that I did see it, it wasn't um, as the Ape Escape videos I did see it wasn't it wasn't that many views as the people deserve so basically wow man he's just going berserk yeah so Ape Escape is one of those not many people knew about I want to say not many people I want to say not many people knew about oh that door back there you can go into that door and I believe it takes you back to the beginning of the game so anyway like I was saying Ape Escape is a game that not many people I don't think many people knew about it because I did know that um back in the day there's only one monkey here to catch and I'm looking around like a dumbass and he's in one and he's not even far into the level of this stage but anyway there was a time when Pizza Hut gave out demos of PlayStation games yeah Pizza Hut the Pizza Hut gave out demos of games for PlayStation 1 games that was awesome but yeah they gave out demos of games so Pizza Hut gave out you know PlayStation 1 demos and that's how I got introduced to some of the PlayStation series that I know and love today such as um, okay what Tomba 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 is pretty much dead now uh, they had the one and two and I think the company died out but anyway I, I got introduced to Tomba through a PS uh, I played the crap out of that demo on PC Blasto, Blasto, uh, the game's weird, but I enjoyed, I enjoyed the demo version at least. Uh, Tekken 3, I had Tekken 2, but Tekken 3 was on a demo. I didn't have Tekken 3 at the time, I was like, so I kept playing the demo of that over and over. I was like, man, there was so much good games on there, on that demo disc, and if I could find it today, I would probably play that demo disc just to so, show you guys, you know what I grew up with but I can't find that for the life of me I don't know where it is I think when I moved when I was uh, when we moved out of our whole old house when I was a teenager I think that got I think that might have gotten thrown away by mistake I don't know I had a bunch of games that I grew up with that might have gotten thrown out by mistake I don't know where it is I have to look for it um, but anyway yeah that's gonna be the end of the part here we catch the last monkey his name was Buzz hiding in the spaceship I kind of get the joke uh, Toy Story I think but anyway I do thank you guys for joining me and you guys have a fantastic day and see you on the next part